The final line of leave the world behind is appropriate. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. Begins the iconic Friends theme music as Rose hits play on the show's last episode. It is hard to dispute. Our main protagonists become lost in a strange place throughout the course of Sam Esmail's latest film, Mr. Robot. Massive cargo ships drift aimlessly towards land as the internet breaks down, followed by planes falling out of the sky, an enigmatic boom piercing the atmosphere, and self-driving Teslas crashing into one other. What is happening? You're not alone if any of this sounds a bit too familiar. While he worked on the movie, writer and director Esmail took inspiration from previous experiences. He says to Tutum, I read the book in the very, very early days of the pandemic. And I simply recall that sense of unease was more terrifying than the monsters you would see on TV or in horror films that you would watch. The unsettling structure of Leave the World Behind heavily relies on this ambiguity. There are only so many simple solutions to the problems the movie raises, so we won't try to refute it. Esmail advises not giving away too much so that the audience can outshine you, but just enough to leave them wanting more. You'll have to figure out where those breadcrumbs go, but we can show you where they are. Why does Leave the World Behind have friends? The friends subplot in the movie was inspired by the page. But Esmail develops it into a far more substantial narrative arc by interjecting the internet apocalypse into Rose's marathon. She makes her way to a neighbor's doomsday bunker in the closing scenes of Leave the World Behind. Even as bombs drop on Manhattan from across the ocean, an emergency alert system provides the following details regarding current affairs. Armed troops operating outside of the law are attacking the White House in key cities. Rose, though, is only focused on one thing. She discovers a savior among these bewildering and disorganized times, a tangible media bookcase complete with her whole library of friends. She may now watch the last one at last. It was pure escape for me, Esmail explains. We do want to retreat into comfort at trying times when we've forgotten who we are as a society and feel alone. And I believe that Rose's trip wouldn't be finished until she saw her favorite show's last episode. The theme music will be there for her when the bombs start to fall, to put it in another way. Although the ending isn't particularly encouraging, there are a few bright spots. Before Rose descends into the basement, there is a painting that hangs on the end of the hallway that reads, Hope begins in the dark, adds Esmail. I believe that even though this movie is a cautionary tale and is intended to be a warning, its main message is that even in the darkest of circumstances, there is always hope to be found. It does not aim to provide us with guidance on what to do next. Perhaps a DVD box set as well. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.